Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the weekly MMA Cycles Market Update. This is Gianni DePoche, your host. It's Wednesday, the day of Mercury, so it's time to talk about what's been going on in the markets, which, uh, after all, commercial activity is a uh, thing ruled by Mercury as well. So uh, let's go ahead and look at some charts. Start off looking at the Dow Jones. We had a hotter than infl uh, expected inflation report on Wednesday the CPI print for August came in above estimates. This is something we've been talking about for quite some time, the probability of inflation not being dead. So the initial reaction from markets for stocks was bearish, but then we rallied back higher. You can see here in the Dow, we're off the highs of the day. So far this week, it's been pretty range bound. Uh, the good news is that we have not taken out this low from August. And as long as we remain above there, bulls still have uh, a hope to hang on. So the story behind this, Inflation, of course, uh, is the energy factor. And the question is whether energy will uh, start to weigh on stock performance. We obviously saw that happen in the first half of 2022. Tech, we're looking at the NASDAQ now, which is a tech-heavy index, does not seem to like uh, a rising energy environment. But so far, NASDAQ shrugging off the fears uh, of inflation coming back. Keep in mind that this Friday we have Mercury going direct, ending its retrograde motion the same day that the sun will trine Uranus. So if we can avoid breaking down into the weekend, I think that sets us up for a break of technical resistance. On the contrary, especially since Uranus rules tech, it also rules uh, breaks of support or resistance. Now, over the weekend, we're going to have Venus square Jupiter. Uh, so I have to keep an eye on crude oil in the next week. Uh, we will have Sun opposite Neptune on the 19th and Sun trying Pluto on the 21st. So uh, no shortage of geocosmic activity coming up. I want to take a look at the interest rate on the 10-year Treasury. Uh, as you wouldn't really be surprised to see rates rise in response to a hotter than expected CPI print. But, but now we're coming down near the lows of the day. So perhaps that trade got a little bit too crowded. But I've pointed out in recent videos that Aspects between Venus and Jupiter, uh, like I said, we have one coming up over the weekend, the square between Venus and Jupiter. Those aspects seem to be corresponding well to reversals uh, in interest rate markets. So I'm going to be looking for another reversal sometime by next week uh, in the bond market. And I, I still think the path of least resistance for interest rates is higher given the inflationary backdrop. Let's go ahead and take a look at USO, the crude oil ETF. Uh, a little bit of a down day here, but, you know, uh, Jupiter and, and Neptune both were crude oil. So we have some uh, important aspects coming up next week. This is a little bit overbought uh, from a technical standpoint. So I wouldn't be surprised if we went sideways a little bit here and uh, eventually continued higher. But I think the big story here is the fact that, you know, SPR, Strategic Petroleum Reserves, are at multi-decade lows in the U.S., and they're trying to refill it the same time that OPEC is cutting supply. And this is very much a Saturn and Pisces theme. Pisces rules crude oil, Saturn rules shortages. The inflation is being driven by low supply. It's totally different from uh, high demand. There still is demand for crude oil, obviously, but the catalyst for the rising prices is the supply disconnect. Uh, I want to take a look at GDX, the Gold mining ETF, really not much happening here. Gold continues to struggle in this rising rate environment. So um, we look forward to a low of significance forming while uh, Mars is in Libra. We'll talk more about that in future videos when we have Ray back on as we all eagerly anticipate uh, Mars going into Scorpio this fall uh, for the precious metal market. Let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin. Some notable price action unfolding here. The fact that Bitcoin this week did not take out that low from June 15th is a very positive sign. And again, going into Mercury Direct and Sun Trying Uranus on Friday, this is really setting us up uh, for the completion of a primary cycle low in Bitcoin. Now, I'm going to look at Ethereum here real quick as well, because Ethereum, I think, completed a, an intermediate term cycle low, a 15 month cycle low. And you can see here that we took out that low from June 15th. 15th. And we did so with intermarket bullish divergence. Bitcoin did not make a new low and some bullish oscillator divergence as well. So uh, between the hard aspect between uh, Venus and Jupiter next week, over the weekend, I should say, 
in the trend between the Sun and Pluto, we could see a nice rebound in cryptocurrency over the next couple of sessions, especially if they're in, uh, especially in Ethereum, if it's in a new 15 month cycle, I think that'd be a most welcome development uh, from the bullish perspective. Uh, let's take a look now at some real estate. New home, uh, new homes are still displaying much more uh, strength compared to existing homes. So that's being reflected in the home building ETF. Next week, we have the Fed rate decision. Uh, Fed's probably going to stay put uh, at this next meeting, at the September meeting, but I'm, I'm more keen on a rate hike at the November meeting. Um, but we also have some important real estate data We're going to get some updates on that front. But this has been, uh, you know, it's pretty choppy right now. I would expect it to remain as such. Really not much else to update on this front for the time being. I want to take a look at healthcare real quick. Last week, we looked at cannabis, the MJ ETF. Uh, healthcare, you know, there still are some issues. I saw that the FDA recalled some over-the-counter cold medications. Again, I think this is a, a Saturn in Pisces theme. Uh, authority, uh, which represents Saturn and healthcare, making some decisions. You know, these are products that have been on the shelves uh, for about 50 years. So interesting uh, to see how that's unfolding now as well. So no shortage of regulatory framework uh, coming down the pipeline within the healthcare sector and something to keep an eye on as a catalyst for potential higher prices. So I looked at some ETFs here. We analyze a lot of these in the monthly ETF report. This uh, upcoming week, we will have the um, monthly cycles report published. That's MMA's flagship report. Stocks, bonds, currencies, commodities uh, will be analyzed. Uh, so definitely should check that out at www.mmacycles.com. We still are in uh, prime forecast season now. So get pick up your copy as well of the forecast 2024 book. I know Ray is working very diligently uh, on that. And there's no shortage of exciting aspects next year to talk about uh, between Jupiter conjunct Uranus and the first of three square passages between Jupiter and Saturn. So uh, in a couple of weeks, we're also going to have Ulrich Aspergen back on MMA's currency expert um, to talk about some currency. So stay tuned for that. We'll talk about that more in future videos, but that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. You can check us out at www.mmacycles.com. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Enjoy the rest of the week.